Today I'll be doing a follow up on the antler ring video. So in an earlier video I made these antler rings, they're actually really cool. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and go check it out. So I just made deer, or I just made rings out of deer antlers. And so today I'm taking that one step further and engraving them. So all you need for this is a drill, your deer antler piece, a Dremel, CVA glue, and whatever color dust you want. You could do turquoise or black, I guess, or copper. Uh, I'm using copper. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so y'all, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and grab some ring blanks, just the end of the antler um, in a or on a bolt, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it down to you know the like round size of a ring, roughly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the vise and just outline what word I want in pencil. I'm doing no on one ring and breaks on the other ring just because you know it's the channel. So, And then go ahead and after you've got it written, I wrote mine in pencil, you can write it in Sharpie, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the only reason I use pencil is just if you mess up, you can just lick your thumb and erase it. Not that hard. Sharpie is a little bit harder to get off. Uh, so after you have it written, go ahead and grab your Dremel and put a thin tip on it. And just go ahead and slowly take your time and outline these letters. Now I messed up on my breaks part, so like just take your time on this. Just go ahead and set it to a slow setting. Do not set it to a fast setting. It will like mess up. If you mess up when it's going fast, you, you messed up. But if you messed up when it's going slow, it doesn't mess it up that bad and you can go ahead and fix it. So go slow and take your time on this. Do not try to rush it. It will not end up well. So after you've outlined it, just go ahead and then grab your inlay and go ahead and fill it in first. Try to fill in all the letters. Uh, this is also where I went wrong on my breaks. I couldn't fill in all the letters and the glue seeped into some of the letters before I got the inlay in and it just didn't end up well. Or the, the letters end up looking a little bit thinner. So after you've done that, go ahead, after you've put the inlay in, go ahead and use the glue to thoroughly soak all of the inlay. Like, do not try to get any air bubbles or like just make sure it's soaked and then just let it dry. After you've let it dry, you can go ahead and put it in the drill and sand it down like you normally would with any other deer antler ring. Again, in my other video, I show you exactly what to do to make these deer antler rings. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and carve it out, you know, the rest of the way after I've sanded it down and then I'm gonna get the final product. And I mean, it looks pretty cool. It will take some practice, but you know, it looks really cool in the end. Okay y'all, so here's how the rings turned out. Uh, the no was definitely pretty good. Uh, the brakes definitely need some work. I think I let, I let some of the glue seep in before I got the inlay in. So it just didn't end up well. Other than that, you know, they turned out actually really cool. Just really cool rings in general. Just got a bunch of like marks and stuff and markings from the actual deer antler. I, I think I got another deer antler. I'm actually gonna redo the brakes. Uh, just to match the no more, you know, it's it's a little bit off, but it's not it's not terrible. Like it's it's not like I'm gonna throw this ring away, uh, but I just think I can do a little bit better. So um, saying that, uh, really good for a first time. Just go ahead and take your time when you're engraving these. You know, it really matters in the end. And that's basically it. I mean, that's how to engrave a deer antler ring. If y'all aren't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below, and if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like.